What's up, Japanese baseball bettors? This is Caesar with Japanese Baseball TV, and today there are three picks for the MPB, Japanese Professional Baseball League. One of the picks I'm giving away for free. Uh, my Patreon subscribers will have full access. I have started a Patreon channel. This takes a lot of work to put these projections and numbers in every day. Uh, I started Patreon as a $5 a month. Basically think of it as a tip to me. So if you're making bets and winning with my picks, uh, just consider it a tip. Uh, so the link is below to my Patreon. It's $5 a month. I'd appreciate if you subscribe and got full access. Uh, I will give picks here occasionally for free for uh, YouTube subscribers as well. I do appreciate all the support uh, and the back and forth with you guys. I love it. Uh, today's jersey is the Rockton Eagles. This is a game-worn jersey from 2012. Uh, the name has been removed, uh, but it still has the patch. Oh, I'm sorry, it's 2010. Uh, it still has the patch uh, and all the necessary stuff on it. So this is a game-worn Rockton Eagles jersey. I don't know who wore it because the name's been taken off. Uh, as you know, I'm also sharing some of my songs that I like. Uh, I came to Japan in 1993, uh, so most of the songs that I like are from that era. Uh, there is uh, traditional music in Japan called Enka. Enka in Japan could be kind of equated in the U.S. I'm from the U.S., so it could be equated to like, you know, old-style folk music, you know, like Bob Dylan-type folk music or like banjo-type hee-haw type uh, traditional music that you know generally the older people like and the younger people don't like but enka in japan has uh, really interesting in instruments like a shamisen uh, is a three string uh, it's kind of like a banjo uh, so you'll hear it in the song if you click the link below uh, they also have a koto which is basically like a japanese harp uh, really interesting sounds in Enka. So I kind of like Enka. It's generally thought of as old people's music. But when I came in 1993, uh, Enka was kind of losing its popularity. And this artist, his name is Higawa Kiyoshi, is a young, kind of cute guy. Uh, the older ladies like him. So he kind of revived Enka for the younger uh, people in Japan. So the song below is a song that I can sing uh, in karaoke, but I don't sing it uh, one eighth or one tenth as well as he does. So give the link a listen and uh, traditional Japanese anka music and it's actually a song I kind of like. So anyway, enough about the music, enough about the jersey, let's get to the picks. So today is Sunday, uh, November 1st. The games are going to start at two, uh, 1 and 2 in the afternoon which is 9 p.m. Uh, Halloween night, Saturday night uh, in Arizona in the U.S. So the first game we have is the Swallows are going to Tokyo Dome to take on the Giants. We've got Suarez taking on Hatake at the Tokyo Dome. The Giants are 36 and 17 at Tokyo Dome. I thought they would take their foot off the gas after winning the championship, but they did not. They finally won a game after losing six in a row and tying one and backing their way into the Central League uh, title. So the Swallow is probably the worst team in Japan uh, with a pretty good pitcher. Suarez has a 2.62 ERA and a 1.28 whip. Um, I give the Swallows the actual starting pitcher advantage here, but the Giants have the lineup and the bullpen advantage. Uh, I project 8.54 runs. The bookie has 7.5. So my numbers say there's value on betting the over 7.5. I'm not going to bet that as an official pick, though, because both teams are hitting pretty cold right now. So I'm not going to take that. My numbers also say the Giants have a 60% chance of winning this game, which equates to 164 odds, which is minus 155. Uh, the odds here are 154 offered by the bookie. In this case, uh, what I do is I take a three-way money line sometimes. A three-way money line means they have to win in regulation time in nine innings. Uh, but the odds for that need to be over my projected 164 here. And in this case, uh, they are, but I'm going to stay away from this game because both teams are just cold. So I'm staying away from this game. No official play, but those are my picks. Those are my projections. Uh, next game, we have the Hanshin Tigers going to Yokohama to take on the Bay Stars. Takahashi 
I like Takashi a lot, actually. This season he has a 2.28 ERA and a 1.14 WHIP, uh, but against the base stars he's not doing quite as good. Uh, the base stars are 28-23 at home. Uh, Sakamoto is going for the base stars. Uh, he's got a 5.31 ERA and a 1.44 WHIP. Uh, he hasn't played the Tigers yet. Uh, so I gave the starting pitching advantage to Han Xing, bullpen advantage to DNA, and also the lineup advantage to DNA. My numbers pick this as a very close matchup, uh, so no real value on the side, although my numbers do say that DNA is a live dog. So if you like putting small amounts on good odds for underdogs, this would be a good chance to do that. I'm not going to make it an official play, but if, if you guys... Uh, feel like betting like that, certainly go ahead. 7.93 is what I have projected as the total, and the bookie has it at 8.5, so there's no value there. So that's my projection for that. There's no bet on that game. Next game is a Patreon subscriber only pick. Uh, I do have a, a pick for the Hiroshima game, uh, so that will be on Patreon uh, right after this video goes up. Next game, we have Oryx going to uh, the Sapporo Dome to take on the Nippon Ham Fighters. Arihara is one of my favorite pitchers. Um, he's doing pretty good this season. He's had a rough patch. 3-5-2 ERA and a 1-2-3 whip. Um, so I give Nippon Ham the advantage for starting pitching. Uh, bullpen is an Oryx advantage and the lineup is an Oryx advantage. Um, so my numbers give Nippon Ham a 19%, 59% uh, chance to win this game, uh, which projects to 1.67 odds. The bookie's given it at 1.4. So the official play for this, the free play for YouTube subscribers, is Nippon Ham on the three-way money line. Uh, that brings our odds up to 1.58, which is close enough to that. I love Arihara. Uh, I think he's great, and he's done really well against uh, the Buffaloes this year. The Buffaloes are starting a pitcher who's never played before. I forgot his name, but I looked up the, the stats before I came on. Uh, he was average in the minor leagues, and I don't think he's going to hold his own here. I think the starting pitcher uh, and the bullpen are going to get racked by uh, Nippon Ham today. Both teams are hitting pretty cold, but Aihara should be able to hold Oryx down. That's my official play is uh, Nippon Ham on the three-way money line. Uh, my numbers also say there's some value on the over seven, but I'm not betting that. My numbers also say there is some value on the Oryx team total over two and a half, but I'm not betting that either. So that's the official play for the YouTube users. Uh, we also have the SoftBank Hawks. SoftBank Hawks are going to MetLife to take on the Cebu Lions. I project this at 8-2-1. The bookie has it at 9, so there's no value there. I give the Hawks a 55% chance of winning the game. They've got Kasahara going out. 2-6-0 ERA and a 1-3-3 whip. He's nothing special, but he's good enough for this good of a team. Matsumoto for the Lions has a 4-5-8 ERA and a 1-4-9 whip. Uh, starting pitching advantage, SoftBank. Bullpen advantage, SoftBank. Both teams have great bullpens. Both teams have equal lineups. Uh, starting pitching is the only difference, but I don't trust Kasahata. I'm not betting this game, but if you are to bet the game, uh, SoftBank would probably be the only way to go here. SoftBank is hitting really hot. The Lions are cold. Um, the bookie's only offering 155, which is almost a minus 200, so... If you like betting large amounts of money on big favorites, this might be a game to bet, but I don't trust Kasahara, so I'm staying away from this game. Uh, here's a Patreon-only game uh, that I'm not going to cover on YouTube, but if you subscribe to Patreon, you will get this pick as well. And that sums up the games for my YouTube channel. Uh, the only official play that I'm giving out for uh, YouTube subscribers is... Uh, Nippon Ham on the three-way money line against the Oryx Buffaloes. Uh, so let's get that money today. Have a good weekend, guys. Have a happy Halloween. Stay safe. Uh, like I said, these numbers take a lot of work. So if you would subscribe to Patreon, it's only $5 a month. Uh, just give me a tip. 
for some of the work I'm doing. I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, and for my YouTube only subscribers, uh, I will be giving picks off and on, and I'll be hiding some for the Patreon only subscribers. That's it for today. Have a good weekend. Happy betting, guys, and I do appreciate your support. Thanks.